Hey everybody. Alright, we've got our uh, John Deere up here. All of our um, Sears Suburban parts are actually at the powder coaters being sandblasted. The, the bigger ones that we're going to do. I've still got a bunch of the smaller ones here. So I thought today, kind of take a look at this. And it's kind of, this one's kind of suspecting that, I'm suspecting anyways, this one here has got a bad head gasket kind of acting. Acting that way it's uh, building up a lot of pressure uh, in the crankcase so and then it runs good when it's cold but when it gets warm it goes right to right to nothing so let's take it apart and uh, see what we can see. kind of snowing out today. We've uh, we had a foot of snow a couple days ago. And uh, looks like we're gonna have supposedly a good amount from this one here today. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Starting to pile up out there. We had some rain and pretty much lost all of it, but I took the hood off. The hood off on these is very easy. There's you take this bolt out on either side and there's a bolt that goes in this slot right up through the center. You just loosen that and the hood slides right off. So that's a pretty straightforward easy thing to just take that off and get it out of your way. Of course this uh, wire here goes to the um, the lights of the hood. This red wire is something that somebody's added in. I have no idea what that is. It's got a it's got a maintenance reminder on it. I'm kind of suspecting that maybe, maybe it's part of that. Uh, check it out, but we're not really too concerned about that at the moment. So yeah, we should have some of the parts back for our Sears project in a in a week or two so that's okay we can uh, we can wait for that it'll be a lot easier than scrubbing all that stuff I think Something there you have to be careful of. Dropping, dropping little parts, like little screws, right down into the carburetor. Make sure you keep track of those as you're doing this. You gotta take all these covers off. awful far. Kind of take note as you're taking these apart. Some of these screws are different lengths. So make sure when you put it back together you know what ones go where. side here. Just lay that, lay that aside. Oh! Ok, 
Okay, so that right there is the number one reason that head gaskets do go bad in these things because as you can see we've had some friends in here and that will make it impossible for this engine to cool correctly so it's kind of common and if you have you have one of these machines that sits around a lot um, it's something I would say you know once or twice a season if you have any suspicions or something like that it's a good thing to uh, take a check on because it can it can ruin your whole day and those things get all clogged up like that because you get no air whatsoever with the cylinders but pretty common I've seen it before So, not super, super surprised, I guess. I'll have to clean all that out. See the sugars that we got. One broken off bolt here. Get all I like to keep keep all my little screws and, and bolts together with the part that they held on. These are, these are pretty easy to figure out, but you know what? If you can take a minute and put all this stuff in a, in a logical place, you don't have to go back and figure it out. Figure it out after, it just save some aggravation. So we're going to need to take this exhaust shield off. going to have to do a little repair there for a shield. Let's maybe take that muffler. We'll, we'll take the muffler right off. We have to disconnect it from the bottom of the system. Anyways, right here. So we might as well just take it right off out of the way. That's my thought. Okay, so there's that. Now, so I can get a couple of maybe 13s. Kind of weird working on the John Deere and everything's metric, but such is the way of the world that we live in today. Everything is outsourced. Other countries. You can John here. But it is the way it is. So. so this 
this is a this is a nice snowy day project. Get done. You get it apart. Anyways, and see what we can see. We need to grab a long wrench here, I think. That'd be good. Yeah, get it apart. See what we can see. And then we'll figure out what parts we need. I don't think there's too much. Really, on this, I think it essentially just the gasket itself is all we're probably going to need. But hopefully, we'll take a look. I'm, I'm not suspecting there's much else um, that's been damaged because it it runs it runs really really well until it gets warm. So, all right. Yeah, if we're gonna need the gasket there, wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, get down to it here. Stuff out of the way. We gotta clean that nest out of there. And of course, I very cleverly took the vacuum inside so we'll have to take a break and go retrieve that get this cleaned up before we open up anything really important yeah there's a a red and a white wire. I'm not really sure what they do. You can say I think I'm suspecting it's something to do with this a little it's called a maintenance minder. We'll deal it goes on the on the dash it's stuck on there. It's an aftermarket thing, so I'm thinking it's something to do with that. Alright, well, I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna go trudge through the snow. see what I can come up with for a vacuum and we'll get this off of here so got some of it cleaned out there's gonna be some more but we got to take off these other two two little shields around the bottom the good news is, is as we're taking those off we still didn't have any you know squatters in there quite often that was my that's my thought as you get taking this stuff apart and you find something like that and they're still living in there but not not today Yeah, this, all the fins in here are packed right up pretty tight with it. They are. That's all right. Take a couple more minutes and I'll do some more cleaning. Be right back. Well, there, it should definitely run cooler as far as airflow now. Got a lot of that cleaned out of there. So that's like I say, it's a very common thing. And if you have, you know, any suspicions that you have anything like that, you really need to keep an eye on it because they will uh, 
do stuff like that incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. I think what they do a lot of times is when you, like when you bring your tractor in, you know, after it's been outside, they, uh, they like it because they're warm and they go right up in there and make their stuff. I don't know. Either way. Just, just about to it here. Just about. That's the easiest way, I think. But you have to take more apart. You have to take more apart. That's all. Take the wine out the fuel pump over here. Maybe we can just take the whole thing out of our way. Maybe. that right down there. How's that? Now, yeah. part all this stuff. Another gasket there that we're going to need because that's in pieces. And believe it or not, look, more mouse stuff. Hold your ears for a sec. So there we have it. So it should be pretty much at the point of being able this, I'm sorry, just cleaning up more stuff here. Be able to get to the important stuff here. Yeah. 
tools loose, sir. I'm betting that has never been off of there. Alright, so we're going to need a valve cover as well, gasket. So we need exhaust, intake, and valve cover so far. Now, And what we need to do now is we need to just loosen our two rocker arms and they can flop out of the way and we can get our push rods. Push rods out. If we don't drop all of our sockets. Like so. those right there. And now, my friends, time to take our head off. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with this or we have to do something a little bit more substantial to, to at least bust them loose. Let's see. Some more 13s, maybe? Oh, yes, they are. That's not going to work. I'm going to do these in a cross pattern. On these, I don't know. How big a deal it is, but just have it. It certainly doesn't hurt anything when you loosen them like that. But of course, once they're loose, they're loose. Okay. Now, what do we got to remember? Okay, this one here with a spacer. And that washer goes down here. We'll put that there. This one goes just above it. Put that there. This one over here. This one over here. And this one down there. Okay. That's it. That's all. Okay. Gonna get a little shaky, boys. Get a little shaky. And girls. Okay. Alright. So, as we come over, we'll notice 
on here it's clean right in a couple of these areas but there doesn't seem to be well, I'm sorry it's clean and clean but there doesn't seem to be any connecting marks but if we come down and we look at our cylinder head as you can see right here is a different story it is and it's like trapped and then our gasket which would go like so on the back side isn't carable but we clearly have something right there huh. sometimes it's just not a perfect can say what is what but we'll go with the uh, We'll go with the symptoms. And we'll, get, we'll get some gaskets for it. Put it back together. Everything else doesn't look bad. I mean, it's clearly been passing some oil through it. The cylinder's good. I mean, this thing actually, like I say, before it would get up to temperature and start messing up, it ran pretty well. So, I guess we'll see what's what. Probably should go through our carburetor while we have it apart. And see what we get. Alright, so there we are. That's what, we're, that's what we got. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to order, we'll order up some gaskets. And I'm going to spend some time cleaning things up here a little bit, getting it ready to uh, getting it ready to go back together. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it. And this, I don't know how well it's focused on that, but on this snowy day. And uh, I guess that's about it. So until the next time that we meet. As always, thanks for watching. Take it easy.